Boing. Boing. Now look at this. Suddenly it's t-shirt weather, which also means it's cruising weather. I can't go cruising with a bouncing bumper. I also want to install my fog lights on top of that, so we need to get that done right now. Hello YouTubes. Today I want to stiffen up my bouncing bumpers. Well, bumper. I've still to install the rear, but if we've got time we'll do that today as well. So I need to remove all the parts I've installed, clean them all up, give them a paint if required, stiffen up the undercarriage, and then hopefully we'll have a solid front bumper with fog lights attached. So let us begin. Gonna use a floor jack this time because those ramps I used the last time were a wee bit terrifying. First thing, chalks in the back. Remind me to remove them before I try and go anywhere. couple of axle stands. Let's see what's going on under there. So these little bars were for fog lights, that's all they were really for. And they are attached to this bar here, which goes all the way to the other side but it's actually holding up my radiator. So that's not ideal, especially if it flexes. So I think what I need to do is take this bracket off, which is the whole bar. So I need to hold the radiator up so that it doesn't do anything naughty, like leak. And then modify this bracket here. Maybe a gusset going from here to there with either a bit of welding or I don't know, I might weld on a little receiving bracket that I can bolt this onto, because I need to be able to remove this, if required. Actually, I could do a sideways configuration around that way. Yeah, if I weld onto this, a sort of L-shaped bracket going up this way, and then I could drill a hole through that and put a nice big beefy nut and bolt through there. That's an option. And that should take away the up and down flex. I mean sideways flex isn't a problem but up and down is. Right, let me go and prep some steel see what I can come up with. Slight change of plan and by slight I mean complete redesign. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll take the wheels off for easier access. Okay this is the bracket that the bumper bars were attached to but as you can see it's not very thick steel and it's only welded on to that little bracket there which holds my radiator on so obviously if anything hits that it's going to mess with that bracket possibly damage the radiator so I'm just going to cut this off here these were only for the fog lights so I don't need them cut it down there there and then I'm going to weld some sort of plate onto this part of the frame which will go down there and do a sort of bendy thing 90 degrees and then I can attach those bumper bars to that 
So a bit more work, but that's okay because I'll finally get to use my air tools with my new compressor. First up, a little miniature angle grinder, side cutter, cut off thing. I don't know what it's called, but it says heavy duty, so it should do the job. Much smaller than the electric angle grinder. Let's make sure it works. And I did remember to oil it before I started. Let's cut. What an excellent little tool. And look, the disc is barely worn and it is fairly thick steel. Okay. Let's have a look and see what I'm going to design next. I think I might just have something that's going to be ideal for this application, hiding through the back. And one of my many external closets. Uh, nope. Yes. How about some of this very thick tubing. This is uh, designed to hold a house up, so I think it'll be fine for the bumpers. Got two thicknesses, because one slots inside the other, but I think this one would be ideal. Although it does have holes in it, but I might be able to use those holes to attach it to something. Nah, let's just go with the one without the holes. Ugh. Oh, it's heavy, thick steel, so I can weld to that as well. Right, let's take this round to the front and see if it's going to work. This is why you never throw anything out, ever. Except for that one time that I threw all my RX-7 stuff out and instantly regretted it when I got an RX-700. Okay, let me show you how this is hopefully going to work. I think we have a winner. I need to do some cutting and fabricating and see if we can come up with something, some way to attach a length of this to that frame under there. Okay, here's what I come up with. Now obviously this is not to scale or in any way accurate. However, that's the front of the frame, that's the front of the frame. That should actually be around the other side, just to be clear. So these will be quarter inch steel L's. I've got a nice big chunk of quarter inch there from my old um, compressor base. So that will do for these bits. Drill a couple of holes there and there, there and there. At the, the far side or the inside, I weld on some of these nuts. These are, what are they, half inch bolts. So two in each bumper extension. This will then slide inside Sorry, that will slide inside there. Drill a hole there, there, bolt through there, and it should meet up with the these brackets here with the welded nuts at the other side. And because they're in like that, they'll jam against this when you tighten it up. That is the plan. Let's fabricate, give it a shot.
So this will get welded onto the frame. Obviously I can take this off again. I just had to, in fact, I'll need to clamp these onto the frame and get the right angle for the dangle. And these are way too long, but I thought I'll cut them too long just now and then I can offer up the bumper and see what I'm going to do that side. Unfortunately, I ran out of today. Today's finished. These jobs always take way longer than you expect them to. So I need to get the wheels back on Bugsy and get him back in there. And then the Mini comes round here and goes in here somewhere. You know the story. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Right then, back to work. I gave my new brackets a bit of a paint because once they're inside there, I'll never be painting them, let's face it. And that's just a, a rust disaster waiting to happen. So they're done, except for this section that's going to get welded. There's no point in painting it if I'm just about to weld this section. And while I was waiting for the weather to improve, I de-rustified my bumpers. Now, I know it looks a bit giraffe like that, but let's face it, it's going to match the rest of the car. So I need to get my new brackets welded on there. I'll clamp them on first, make sure they're roughly, roughly accurate, roughly symmetrical. And then we can work out how we're going to attach the bumper to those brackets. enough. Let's weld these suckers on. Theory then, I should be able to stand on these. There's a Hot Rod magazine cover photo. So now I just need to figure out how I'm going to attach that to them. I'm thinking I could probably reuse these end tabs that I welded on. I'll cut them off there and there, play about with them, because these are kind of angled because the bumpers curve. So let's see if I can, let's see if I can come up with something silly. Right, I cut those tabs off and they might work. It's sitting over that way just now because it's just hanging off the end of the pipes so that I don't have to use clamps to show you what I'm talking about. So the whole thing's going to come over this way a bit. Those bolt holes will be behind, kind of inside the tubes. So what I'll probably do is weld on a couple of captive nuts at the back on those plates. And then I just have to screw it in from this side. So I need to trim the pipe down. Let's see, I don't want it too close. Maybe an inch. Uh, let's see. Mm, depends where the bracket's going to stick out. Yeah, let's go two inches. Oh. Same on that side. So I'll cut them down at two inches and I'll do it at an angle to match this curve because that means that the whole pipe will be hidden behind this lip, which might look quite nice. Might look horrible. Let's find out. My front bumper is now on. Well, it's kind of 80% on. Let me show you. I'll do the jump on top of it test again. Mm. 
no flex. A couple of things missing. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, they look stonkingly good there. However, as you can see, the sun's gone down yet again. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, morning again. Right, so we bit early to start the power tools. It's only like 6.30 a.m. I don't like starting the power tools till at least seven, right? So I'll do some planning and then we'll get to work at seven. Fog lights, fog light mounts. Let's see, they're gonna go on those bars that I just made. So I just need a sort of U-shape thing like that. In fact, that'll make two of them. Cut it there, cut it there. Drill a hole there, drill a hole there. Weld the bottom onto those bars. And that's it, that'll do it. That'll sit like that. Okay, give me a second. Let me make them. Just like that. Right, I can now weld them onto my little bars at the front. So these obviously are height adjustable, my height adjusting tool. So I'll take the lamps off and I'll finish welding those brackets on. Oh yeah, let me show you. Now, I was a bit concerned when it was on the actual stands that the bumper was a bit kind of sloping up that way but it's, it's actually pretty good so gave the bars a bit of a paint i just went with matte black i don't want them sticking out like a sore thumb that's shiny because it's still wet because you know me i've got no patience and i'll get some of that plastic conduit wire hider over them when i'm a bit less you know impatient and excited but overall extremely happy so that means time for the back bumper should be easy now that i know what i'm doing right
Right, let's see what we're going to do with this. The back end is going to be a wee bit different because the frame is way out here. Pretty sure that's where it used to bolt through. And the same on the other side. I'm going to have to raise the number plate a little bit. Hopefully I'll have enough room to squeeze it in there. Or I could mount it on the, the bumper itself. We'll see. There's already a light underneath that, so it would be silly to change that. Now, question is, do I use the same thickness of tube? Because that stuff that I used at the front might look a bit ridiculous at the back for some reason. You know, if it's coming away out here. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. It just means I'll need to cut a bigger hole here. Or I could do the same sort of connecting device and just cut a slot for that bar to go through and weld up to the frame. That could work as well. Options. Let me figure something out and I'll be back in a minute or 20. Right, I've decided against using that big thick tube. I'll show you why. This bumper can actually sit quite close to the car. So you're barely even going to see whatever comes out. So there's no point going to all that effort with the big thick tubing. I think I'm going to want it a bit there. And it actually is going to connect just in here. So I think I'll maybe just chop a corner out, out of here. If I do a, if I just do a slot and then weld a bar through there, then I would have to chop it to get the body off if I ever want to get the body off. So at least, you know, if I just cut, chop a wee corner, then I can always lift the body off without having to cut off this bracket that I'm going to just weld. So I'm just going to make a, a solid bar welded to the back of the frame and it'll come out a curve like that and connect in that hole there. And I've still got plenty of that quarter inch steel, so I'll just bend that into submission. Right, let's go on with it. Almost there, just need a little bit of adjustment and then I can weld it all 
weld it all onto the frame. Don't know if I like it, but I didn't think I'd like the front and I ended up liking that, so. I know you can't really see it because of the crazy reflection, so you'll need to wait till we're done. <sighs> right, I've got bumpers. Bugsy is ready for his first car show of the year this Sunday. So I've got one more day. I might uh, I might do a bit of sanding down, get rid of the rust before the show, but I think it's going to be raining tomorrow, so maybe not. And also tomorrow, I think my wife's got me some uh, some more air tools for sanding, so perfect timing. I suppose you want to see it, right? Right, we're going to go for a wee drive, and I'll park somewhere nice and get some cinematics. See you in a minute. Oh, my poor old back. Well, there we go. Bumpers. I hope you like them. And if you don't, build your own hot rod. Thanks for watching. Only took me three, four. It took me a while. Anyway, I'll see you all on Sunday at the swap meet. And thank you for everyone's birthday wishes. Much appreciated. Showtime.